Here at The Synodics, we are huge fans of budget phones. In a world of expensive devices, it's refreshing to see a cheaper alternative that offers excellent specs without compromising quality. We were super excited to get the Poco M3 sent to us to review here at the studio. And with some very appealing specs on paper, there's a lot of potential here for a smartphone within the $170 US range. Let's take a closer look. Poco is a sub-brand of Xiaomi, and although we've reviewed a number of budget Xiaomi devices in the past, including the Redmi 5 Plus and Mi 9T, we've been really curious about the Poco brand itself. The M3 is the latest entry-level phone to the Poco line. It comes in three colors, including yellow, which we have, blue, and also black. There's two versions sold, a 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage option selling for approximately $150 US dollars, and a 4GB of RAM and 128GB of storage version that we have here at an MSRP of about $170. If you're looking to purchase from the US, they're both available via AliExpress. The M3 features a Qualcomm Snapdragon 662, which is also used in other phones like the Motorola Moto G Power and the more expensive Xiaomi Redmi Note 9. Honestly, for this sub $200 price point, I think the 662 processor gives this device a huge upper hand compared to the rivals in this price range. On first impressions, I'm already a fan of the sporty looking yellow color. There's a side mounted fingerprint sensor and soft push volume rockers in addition to a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The back material is a textured yellow plastic that isn't the most premium of materials, but has a very solid weight and feel to it. The triple camera on the back with a plastic Poco logo window really adds a nice sporty touch that looks both expensive and unique at the same time. With the phone comes a jelly silicone case and pre-installed screen protector protecting a Corning Gorilla Glass 3 screen. At 6.53 inches full HD plus with an IPS LCD display, the M3 looks like it would be a great size for consuming media on. The display has a resolution of 2340 by 1080p and a 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio good for 395 ppi. There's also dual speakers and so far they sound quite loud and clear. The Poco M3 runs on MIUI 12 on top of Android 10. It's been a while since I've used MIUI but I'm pleased with the aesthetic improvements they've made in my first impressions so far. Customization also appears to be easier and the animation is a nice touch to have. One important factor to note is there's a good amount of bloatware that comes with the phone, including a slew of games and apps such as Netflix, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Other than that, I am noticing some lag, as would be expected with 4GB of RAM and a 60Hz refresh rate, but it will take a full review period to see how performance goes with time and more use. As long as you're being reasonable with expectations for a sub $200 phone, I feel like this device is more than capable of day-to-day -day performance. Another bonus to the budget phone is a triple rear camera and 8 megapixel teardrop front camera. With a 48 megapixel main camera, 2 megapixel macro camera, and 2 megapixel depth sensor, this is another feature I'm impressed with that Poco was able to add to the M3. There's more to come in my full review, so be sure to stay on the lookout for that. Finally, what is arguably the most impressive feat in the Poco M3 is the battery. This phone has a 6,000 milliamp hour battery and supports 18 watt fast charging and even reverse wired charging as well. Most phones don't even come anywhere near this size in terms of battery and there's a lot to look forward to here and I'm really excited to see how this phone performs in the long haul. Keep in mind once again that all of this is in a sub $200 offering. Let me know what you want to see in the full review in the comments below. Once again, I'm Lita from The Hypnotics, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. So the other day I went to the market and I saw a bunch of people with their iPhones just checking their grocery list. And I told them, hey, you should subscribe.